What's going on, Scorpio? Welcome to your reading. Vince here for 7 Day Tarot. Scorpio, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you. Wow. Okay, so you got the sun here and you also have the nine of pentacles. This is your angels and guides letting you know you have a lot of good luck, a lot of good fortune, right? You have a lot of good karma. So anything you touch right now will turn into gold. All you have to know is that the better you feel, the more you allow, right? So you have to allow the universe to give you possibilities, synchronicities, outcomes. Basically allow the universe to hook you up with money and love, which is your birthright. In order to get this, you have to feel good. This is it. Imagine someone comes up to you and says, listen, I got the world's best gift. You've been waiting for this all your life. Now, in order to accept it, I want you to think of a really, really happy thought. And I want you to just be in that energy for 30 seconds. Right? You'd be like, oh, okay, great. Um, let me think of a time. Okay, I remember I had a great time. Ah, what a good day that was. Boom. There you go. Same thing here. Right? The universe is telling you in order for them to help and guide you, in order for them to give you everything you're looking for, they ask for one simple thing. The better you feel, the more you allow. Now, you have the option of questioning this, saying, this is stupid. What's the law of attraction? Why is this happening? But then again, it's like you're playing a game. Imagine you're playing chess or checkers and you're like, who came up with these rules? No one cares, right? Who cares who came up with the rules? The name of the game is how much money can I make? How quickly can I meet my soulmate? What do you want me to do? That's it. Just play with the rules to win, right? For example, this is the law of gravity, right? You climb a tree, you fall off, you hurt yourself. So what do we do? We don't question the rules. We just don't climb the tree. That's what's going on here. Sources like, listen, just, just feel good. Like what a good deal. Feel good. And I will give you what you're looking for. This is the best deal you'll ever get in your life. All right, now very interesting. You got the Tower and the Eight of Wands. A little bit of shocking news about to take place. This is some unexpected news, and this is nothing more than a test. The universe wants to see where are you at in your life right now in order for them to bring you some opportunities. What does this really mean? The universe only gives you as much as you can handle. For example, like we don't go up to a kindergartner and try to teach them, you know, algebra. It just doesn't work, right? You wait, right? And that's what's going on here. The universe is waiting for you, waiting to see. Like, for example, if you want to meet your soulmate, if you want to be able to, you know, get that promotion at work, but if you're waking up late, if you're not making your bed, you're not eating healthy and you're not positive, then those are not good signs, right? So sources like show me that you are ready and then I will give you more. And all you have to understand that alignment trumps execution. So the universe wants you to stop doing stuff and start being, for example, human being, not human doing. So imagine like you don't jump in the car without any sense of direction, a map or GPS, and just drive around in circles, right? Why would you do that? You waste your time and waste gas. Same thing with life. A lot of times we're like, I need to make money. What do I do? Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do this. And then you do three different things. None of them are in alignment with you, so none of them work. You waste a bunch of time, waste of money, a bunch of money, and you waste a bunch of confidence, right? And confidence is something that once it's gone, oh my goodness. Getting that back is like climbing an uphill mountain, right? So source is telling me right now, in order to let go and receive, you literally have to let go to receive. You have to stop trying to force reality and instead take possession of it. This is so important. And this is why you want to feel good and then the manifestation will follow. Anything I have to do in my life, if I don't feel good, I don't do it. For example, if I my boss comes up to me and says, hey, there's a new position opening up and I was thinking of recommending you for it. Rather than immediately say, yes, I would like the position, I'd say, no problem. You know what? It's fantastic. Fantastic. Let me go home, sleep on, and get back to you. I just want to make sure that's the right move. I'd go home, I'd eat something healthy, I'd exercise, I'd sleep, I'd wake up feeling good, and then first thing in the morning, bright and early, I would know exactly what to do and it would be the right decision. This is about not making hasty decisions. This is not about snap judgment. This is putting every impression to the test. This is what the Stoics used to say, right? Like you want to be smooth and easy and just kind of go with the flow, and you don't want to force something into uh, possession. 
Now you got the nine of cups and you also have the five of pentacles. Right now there is a gift, you mastering your finances right around the corner for you. Your angels are going to bring you multiple opportunities to create wealth. And right now they're telling you that the universe will literally rearrange itself to match your beliefs, right? What do you want? A lot of times people tend to say, it's not about what I want, it's you know, what options I have. Like for example, like oh, what I really want to do is open a restaurant, but I, I don't even know how to cook food. Doesn't matter, you hire a chef. You know what I mean? So, like for example, like I used to have major retail businesses, a lot of them. I had dog grooming business, dog daycare, coffee shop, renovation company, cabinet company. None of these were in alignment with me. All of them made money, but everything, like working 12 hour days was not fun. So, I, I basically told myself one day, I am done. Like I knew retail inside out, but I told myself, I am done with this. And what I'm gonna do is pivot online. Right? So I told myself, even though I know nothing about online, I'm going to give up the one thing that makes me money, my bread and butter, and I'm going to pivot online. I pivoted to Amazon FBA. I pivoted, pivoted to Airbnbs. I pivoted to day trading. Our day trading is just off the charts, right? Pivoted to YouTube. We're doing, you know, tarot reads on YouTube now. You know what I mean? It's just easy peasy. It's just whatever you want it to be. So it's like, what do you want? And then monetize it. Not the other way around. It's not, what can I monetize? and then do it. That's the last thing you are looking for. Trust me, I've done that. It does not work. If it worked, where's all the money, right? It does not work. All right, very interesting. Now you have the Empress and you have the Devil. Oh, and this is letting you know good and evil, right? And good in this case means being in alignment and evil means that the ego trying to prevent it from happening. Which one are you going to choose? Because it's a choice. It's a choice. Are you going to choose to think positive or choose to think negative? Are you going to look at it from the perspective of everything is happening for me or everything is happening to me, right? This is a choice. So for example, imagine you are walking. There's two sides of the street. One side is sunny, one side is raining. Which one do you decide to stand on, right? It's a choice. Now, why would you possibly stand in rain? That's what I want to know. Why would you possibly think negative? So it's a lot of brainwashing and influence. Now, turn on the news. Tell me what you see. Negative, negative, negative. So you're brainwashed from the moment you look at your phone. Let me guess. Google News, Apple News, whatever you're watching. First thing in the morning, boom, bombarded with hate, right? Bombarded with fear. So you're brainwashed from the moment you wake up to the moment you sleep. And all those advertisements on the phone petrify you, right? Just making you scared of every single thing on this planet. So you got to understand that it's not you that chooses to choose fear. It's the brainwashing and influence. So right now, source is telling you, let go of that energy. When you let go of fear, what, do, what happens? Now you embrace who you truly are. And then your soul starts shining. You lead by example. And you're allowing the universe by showing appreciation, which is the shortcut to manifestation. And then as a magnet, you are attracting what you emit. So right now, understand that everything is a choice. Are you choose, You know, it takes the same energy to think negative than positive. Same energy. There's no any extra energy. So right now your angels and guides are telling you always, always pick abundance. Always pick the path of least resistance. Always pick the path that you are in alignment with. And then everything else will manifest for you organically. But again, this is a choice. So you have to put down the handle of fear that makes you feel powerless. And instead, pick up the handle of love that makes you feel powerful. All right, Scorpio, time for some money and love. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section. While you write this down, make sure you feel the words. Feeling the words is the secret. That's how you ignite the manifestation. Now, if you want some money and love in your life, this is how you want some entangle with it and let your angels and guides know you're ready. So write down the following affirmation in the comment section. My life gets better by change, not chance. I repeat, my life gets better by change, not chance. This is you confirming that you are the cause and effect, confirming you are co-creator with spirit. My life gets better by change, not chance. Yes, it does. Write that down in the comment section. Give this video a like. Let your angels and guides know that you are ready. All right, now, oop, final message from your spirit guides. Final message is time to make a demonstration. So the older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner to say, I love you. They also skip and wink more than usual and hold hands with those they walk beside. So right now it's like your soul, right? Your soul has no fear. Your soul has no ego. Your soul only has unconditional love. And that's who you truly are. What you're looking at right now, when you're looking at me, my body, this avatar, this is a car. This is a vehicle. It has a genetic cap of 120 years. And then it decays. Inside of this is my soul, which is the driver. Your soul goes from car to car to car. 
after our after our avatar gets reincarnated. So you have nothing to worry about. Your soul is the driver in this vehicle, which loves you. It has nothing but, you know, um, good wishes and fortune for you. So if you ever feel like something is off, all you have to do is walk towards your inner being. And that usually for me means doing things to honor my soul, going for a walk, eating healthy, reading some books, and then everything else will un naturally unfold for you. All right, Scorpio, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.